All right, fight fans, we have here Brian and also the People's Champ. Brian, first of all, what did you think of the fights? What did you think of Camarón Cepeda? Uh, it was great, man. I got, it's, uh, his volume is crazy. You know, I, just, I, I see that, but he, he's not too careless with it. You know, he's actually finding shots. He's finding his opening and stuff and setting up. It was, it was good. It was cool to watch, man. Right? Awesome. And you just got, you know, done with fighting with one of the top names at 154. You made a good account of yourself going the distance. What did you learn about yourself in that fight? In that fight, man, it's just that there's more to learn. Uh, I learned that there's more to learn. Uh, you know, there's a lot, you know, uh, some holes in my game that I still need to work on, you know, it me some stuff, uh, even, even some strengths that I need to double up, double down on, you know, uh, stuff like that. So I just learned a lot, man. Uh, I grew a lot from it, and I can't wait to show you guys next time out, you know, uh, uh, things you've been working on. And there's a lot of people that want to know what are, what have you been up to, you know, there's a lot of people that obviously uh, became fans of you in your fights against Sebastián, Sebastián Fundora. When's the next fight day? What 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 um what have you been up to? So right now I'm, I'm actually training. You know, I'm a backup. I'm ready to fill in if someone on the March 30th card falls through. Uh, so you know that's the the fight, the, the, the suit fight. You know whatever. I'm just I'm just training. You know we're ready and everybody knows that we stay ready. So it's just that man. Uh, and, and if not, you know uh, we might line something up in April. We're trying to get some stuff like that. But but we'll see. Right now we're just training, staying ready. And of course there's some big names south of your division that've been flirting with your division. The names like. Terrence Crawford, Virgil Ortiz. If those guys come calling, um, are you ready to answer the call? Man, I, I think one thing I've shown is that I don't turn any, any, I don't, I don't turn down any smoke, any calls, anything. Man, call, call my number and uh, call my manager, uh, read the Google and everything. And we're ready to go, man, with anybody. And of course, I'm sure people have been asking you this question. You know, the fight that's coming on, you know, March 30th. What should Tim? What should uh? What should a uh, one-time Keith Thurman know about Tenzu? Uh, man, like uh, the thing I see happening in that in that fight is, uh, you know, the body work. Uh, everybody knows that Thurman doesn't like getting into the body at all, and uh, he, he's a vet. You know, he knows how to fight through it and bite down and everything. But I feel like uh, right now with with the age, the timing, the layoffs, and everything, I feel like uh, it's gonna be a little more exaggerated. You know, um, so that's so you know, uh, Tim, for sure. You know, he's gonna be working that body and everything. It's just uh, that's, that's something that's a. Uh, one of the best, one of the better tools that Tim has, you know, consistent body work and just that pressure. So uh, that's the thing, man. Just you know, expect a, a sharp fighter coming forward. You know, he's hungry. Uh, he's still trying to prove himself. You know, separate. He's each time out, he's trying to separate himself from his dad's name. So uh, he's doing it. You know, and uh, I, I think in that fight, I think uh, I, re I really see Sue taking over late. There's a lot of people that you know, they they know that Keith Thurman's an entertaining guy, but five years is five years as a fighter. Is that too much time to take off? That's what I'm saying. I like. I feel like one of the biggest factors in this fight is the the age and the layoffs because uh, the the layoffs back then they didn't seem to affect Thurman. You know, every time we think he's gonna be resting, he's not. So so it could be, but I think he's he's uh, he's pushing forward. You know, I think 38 or something like that. But I, I feel like at a certain point it, it is gonna catch up to him. And of course, you guys are prize fighters. The biggest bag makes sense. There's some the big names. Uh, that are out there that are still competing like Manny Pacquiao. Say Manny Pacquiao decided to, you know, call out Brian Mendoza. Would you take that fight? Uh, come on, man. Share the ring with the legend. Uh, that's, I'm already not avoiding the smoke. Huh? Why would I avoid a legend like that? So, my man, I would love a fight like that. I would, I would take that in a heartbeat. When you look back at the 147s, 154, I know, I'm sure you're also a fight fan. Who's, what's a dream fight that you wish you would like would have gotten with one of those past guys? Uh, in the past? Um, man, uh, whoever, like, honestly, at uh, 47, man, uh, or 54, man, I thought. I like the four kings there, man, even, you know, like, uh, like Ray Leonard and stuff like that, like Hearns at 54. Um, that's actually on my WBC belt, the interim belt that I won. Uh, Hearns is on that. That's, like, one of the coolest ones, man. Like, uh, Hearns is definitely a fighter I've, I've, I've looked at a lot, looked up to a lot over the years. And it would be an honor to share the ring with him. And also, man, take me back to that time when you became a champion. You know, we I'm, everybody saw that that Alicia shot highlight reel against Sebastián Fundora. When he dropped, did you know at that moment you were a champion? Um, it, it took a minute, you know, because like uh, he, he was kind of asleep in the air, but then when he hit the canvas, like he started sitting up. So I was like, oh man, he's gonna get up. But it was uh, the game plan went perfectly. You know, that's how we planned it. You know, it was a uh, you know kind of chop that tree, you know, and then uh, have a big second half. And the seventh round, the first round of the second half is when that happened. 
but man, it was, it was a dream come true. It felt like I was in, it felt like I was in a dream, you know, like a video game. Just that perfect moment that I had that golden moment, especially when I buckled him and he uh, just had that little pause, you know, where uh, before I came in with that, that, that right hand, it was just uh, I, I, inexplainable, right? There's a lot of people that saw your Instagram story, that saw that you, even before the fight, you were already calling victory. You, when nobody believed in you, only your team and yourself believed in you. What did it mean for you guys to, to you know, to get that W? Uh, I had a very small group of people that believed in me, and, and that was for them. I've always said, there's a lot of hate, a lot of haters in the world and stuff like that, just non-believers, you know, but uh, they, they don't matter. It's for the, you know, they'll, 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 they'll jump on the back one, back, back wagon eventually, but for now, man, this is for my family, for my friends, for my fans, you know, if you believe in me, that's for you. That, that's truly, like, you should feel like you're part of that. And there's always going to be the, the Sevistan Fundoras, I might want to take that, you know, run it back. That's a big fight for you. I'm sure the money's going to be good on your side if you want to give it back to him. Is that, a, is that an option? Uh, he's actually, his next fight, he's fighting for the full WBC title. So, of course, man, that's something I would love to run back. And uh, final message for the fans that, you know, that are keeping an eye on you, that are going, when does Brian Mendoza get back? What message do you have for those those people, those fans? Just stay tuned, you know. Uh, it's a lot of ups and downs in the sport. And, uh, right now, we're not even too far down. You know, I'm still at the top. You know, uh, number two in the division, I believe, uh, right behind Sue. And that's the thing, man. We're just, we're still moving. We're still grinding. So just stay tuned. Big things are coming, man. We're still working. Hungry. Any final messages you have for the fan? Maybe something that you're working on behind the scenes? That's or the thing, yeah. Uh, right now, like I said, you know, a lot of that stuff is up in the air. We're trying to solidify some stuff. But um, if I can get going in April, man, do come true. And I just want to stay busy, man. Uh, you know, like, I consider myself, you know, someone that actually wants to fight. I'm not just here for a quick check and go home and party and everything. Like, I, uh, this is what I eat, uh, sleep, live, breathe. So uh, I want to fight soon. So as soon as I get to get any kind of news, everybody will know. Any names? Any names that you want to say? Like, hey, you know what? We can mix it up. All of them, man. If you got a belt at 54, I want you. That's it. Awesome, guys. That's Brian Mendoza. Thank you, champ. Thank you.